So discussing the day of reckoning, the book, the card, the event that will take place on the 20, 23rd of December um, next month in Saudi Arabia. On the card, you have Joshua Wallin, um, Wilder, Joseph Parker. You have um, Dimitri before them. You are far. You have Sanchez. You have um, Philip Ergovic. You have Mahmudov. You have Adit Kabayer. You have uh, Daniel Dubois versus um, Jeremy Miller. Bro, this is something else. But I would say. Um, I will the, the intriguing one. My opinion is the Lyndon Arthur Bivol one. I know Bivol is a monster. Probably stop uh, uh, Arthur, but I do feel like Arthur might my my uh, might um, you know do something that maybe we haven't seen before. But the card now the fight on the card: Jared Miller won the water. Joseph Parker. Can you guys break it down? Which one are you looking? Four to the most. Let's go around here at the Wally for that and then go to Baojo and uh, touch up with. Which one are you guys looking towards to the most? Four to the most. At the Wally. Yes, sir. Uh, can, can you hear me? Yeah, bro. Okay. Um, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> and I know you guys are going to be surprised by my selection. But I'm looking forward to Jai Opeitai, the cruiserweight IBF king. Jai is such a phenomenon, phenomenal fighter, in my opinion. I have only watched about three fights of Jai. I seen this guy with a broken jaw, beating the shit out of his opponent. And then he's so athletic. He dipped in and out of the range of the punching range so quick and he has very fast hands that guy is a very entertaining fighter i wish him the best i'm a big fan of jai i'll be honest so i'm looking forward to that fight the most and obviously you know i'm the biggest beyond the wilder fan in the world in my opinion i think i am so that is the other fight that i'm looking forward to parker josh and um, parker versus age versus deontay I mean, Joseph Parker has a chance. He has a good chance, actually, especially considering the fact that Deontay has only had one fight in like two years or maybe more than two years. And that fight was only one round. But he has had many sparring matches, many, many, many sparring matches. And he's always talking about he's done 100 rounds in preparation to the fight. So maybe he would be sharp regardless of not having fights in the last couple of years. Um, Parker, on the other hand, he's been active. He's a good fighter, very good fighter, former WBO heavyweight champion. His last performance in South Africa was spectacular, but it was against a guy that he was supposed to do that to. So I wouldn't put too much you know, I wouldn't give that too much credit. He deserves the credit, though. I mean, he got the victory in a dominant fashion. But against Deontay Wilder, I mean, Wilder is a beast, bro. You know, that guy knows how to punch. And then the guy has a heart. His chin is good. But I don't know, man. After those Fury fights, I don't know, man. That guy, bro, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm just going to say that I'm excited about this fight. I wish all of them the best. I've actually come to a point where I'm not as emotionally invested as I used to. So may the best man win. That's all I have to say. May the best man win. I am looking forward to Jai Opetai's career in general. I'm looking forward to the next five years. I'm waiting for Jai to unify the cruiserweight division and move up to heavyweight and see what he achieves. Thanks, I uh, appreciate your take on this. Uh, our brother Mayo Joe, can you come in, bro? Mayo Joe, your take on this card. Who, which fight are you looking forward to most? Can you hear me? Yeah, bro. 
Right. Um, for me, you know, it's, it's really crazy. I, there's, there's a lot of fights that I'm actually quite interested in besides the AJ fights. But the, the one particular fight that I am very, very interested in, very, very interested in, is the Wilder um, Parker fight. Um, for some reason, I... <sighs> The reason why I'm interested in that fight is obviously I still want to see Joshua Wilder. To be fair, that fight is going to pass itself by day, but I still want to see it. And I see that fight as a serious battle for Wilder. Mayo Joe, Mayo Joe, I don't know your your audio. Your audio is cracking. Oh, is it just me? Yeah, is it cracking? Uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's cracking a little bit, but I can see him though. Okay, should I repeat okay, everything no, I said? Not, is, yeah, no, is it no, better? better? Yeah, no, it's better, yeah. Uh, I probably just need to speak a little louder. Okay, I'm just going to start all over again. Um, so I did say that I, I, there's a lot of fights on that card that I'm interested in besides the AJ fight. Okay? Uh, like his Parker. Uh, this is because I see AJ fight Wilder eventually. Um, I know that fight is gone past its sell by date, but I still want to see it. You know, I still want to see that fight. But Wilder against Parker is, is a serious banana skin, man, because we all know that Parker is very, very skillful. Parker has had more activity in the last in the last two years, you know, way more better active, activity than, than, than Wilder. Wilder has not really fought anyone. And I don't know how his timing, I don't know what his chain is going to be looking like. I just pray that the guy has not, you know, just become old overnight, you know, because he's 38 years old as well. He hasn't got time. So to be honest, I just really hope that Wilder, one way or the other, finds the right hand and that the right hand is strong enough to send Parker out of there. I mean, I do like Parker as well as a fighter, as a person. But I prefer Wilder to win the fight. And I just really hope that Wada is able to do it. Because to be honest with you, like I said, I'm not sure where Wada is right now. I am not sure at all. Because he came back from, you know, some very brutal fight against against um, Tyson Fury. The second and the third fight, he got brutally beaten. Brutally beaten. And then when he fought Elenius, he was only there for, for a few seconds. You know, it was less than three minutes. And that is not enough. I would have preferred for Elenius to have tested him properly, you know, but he wasn't tested at all. And if Wada is not able to find that right hand against Parker, I'm afraid Parker might beat him. I'm afraid he might, honestly. So I'm interested in that fight. And another fight I'm actually quite interested in would be the um, Daniel Dubois against Jarrell Pharmacy Miller. Just because I'm just hoping, I know Dubois is not all that, especially right now. But I'm just hoping that Dubois just finds a way to knock that fat blob out of there. And I never want to see this guy again. I'm sorry. I do not like him. I've never liked him. I know people say that he's good for the heavyweight division because he can talk and all of that. But for somebody to be that much of a drug cheat, I hate that. I hate that. I really hate it. For you to think that... You want to have an unfair advantage over someone who is coming in clean, right? Only God knows how long this guy has been taking drugs, how long he's been taking PEDs. I, in my opinion, all the fights on his record should be ruled as no contest. All of them. All of them. So I'm surprised that they brought the guy in. I'm surprised that he's fighting in Saudi. But I just hope that one way or the other, um, Dubois is able to get him out of there. And hopefully that will be the end of his career. I don't want to see him again. He should go become a bouncer or a bodybuilder and just take as much drugs as he wants. And every other fight on that card, you know, I, but these are the ones that I'm really, really, really interested in. That's all i got to say for now. Thanks, but I appreciate your take on this. Let's go, but on your Ty Jagwe. Ajagwe, which fight are you looking forward to the most um, on this car right here? This is, this is a great night for boxing. I can I can imagine how much the Saudi spent, you know, like to literally assemble all these fighters, you know, together.
Um, my job made a great point, but you know what? I think Wilder is gonna <laughs> he's gonna take the head off of Joseph Parker, man. Listen, Wilder's still pissed about Tyson Fury, and who better else to take the anger off <clears throat> than Joseph Parker, his best his friend? You know, I think Wilder is literally gonna knock out Joseph Parker, and I'm actually worried for that guy. With the damage he took against Joe Joyce, he looked like I've never seen anything like that. You know, I thought Joe Joyce. I mean, I thought Parker was 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 a more movable guy. You know, more athletic and able to move, and you know, but I was wrong. So, I think Joe Joyce, his best days are way past him. Um, at this point now, it's trying to get as much money as possible, and hopefully, he get this Wilder fight is is a good payday. But I don't see that fight going distance or anything like that, man. That guy's probably gonna get knocked out in the fourth round, really bad, you know. And I don't even know why they put him in there. I don't, I don't think he's completely healed from the Joe George fight. But the that's that's my that's my concern for that main event. But of all the fights that I want to see, it's a long shot, but it's definitely Dubois shutting up freaking Gerald Miller. I cannot stand that motherfucker, man, no matter what. But you know what annoys me the most, too? Is how Daniel Dubois was brought, was, was, uh, was... Oh, uh, from the start of his career up until now, it was not it was not properly done. Once somebody smells that you got that quit in you, it's always gonna be like that. It's always gonna be like that because it's not once but twice that we've seen it, and I think Jarrell Miller sees it too. I was watching the press conference. Dan Dubois looked extremely uncomfortable. He looked extremely uncomfortable. And and Jarrell Miller is going to be rough. He's going to be trying to cheat any way possible. He's going to get to Dan Dubois, and he's going to quit again. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. It happened more than Jer once. Jarrell Miller has been inactive uh, for a long time, and uh, 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 just, uh, uh, just Jarrell Miller, I would say, would... Would probably beat uh, Dubois, but not a not, not a one without the juice. De this Darrell Miller is already getting inside Dan Dubois' head. I I saw it in press conference, and I'm telling you now, it's already it's already it's already been done. Darrell Miller is gonna win. Is he's, he's gonna beat Dan Dubois? I'm telling you, he's gonna knock him out. That would be a shame that happens. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen, and that's the fight I'm looking forward to. That's it. Thanks, bro. I appreciate your take on this, guys. You've heard it. And then uh, we'll move to the next one.